Understanding the cost and benefits of migration is a big and important question. Economists have been trying to do so by looking at objective measures such as wages or employment and asking questions such as is immigration reducing the wages of natives or is immigration are immigrants taking up the jobs of natives. Some other economists have looked at how immigration influences house prices or whether migrants and migration itself is increasing the public expenditure. However, this type of questions allows only to have a partial understanding on how important the effects of migration are. We start wondering as economists on whether immigration is also affecting other outcomes, actually less tangible outcomes such as happiness, well-being, mental health and life satisfaction. So part of my research has been devoted to try to ask this question in a country such as Germany, which is a high immigration country. The results of my research for Germany showed that a higher number of migrants in a region and a more diverse set of migrants in the regions influence positively the happiness of natives in Germany. The big question, of course, is whether this is also the case for the UK. There is no current research showing the association between migration and happiness of uh, British people or migration and the mental well-being of British people. And considering the importance the mental well-being and in general happiness has for the policy agenda of this country, I just wonder on whether reducing migration in the UK will actually incur in a decrease of happiness of British people.